It's been about six months since the Old Country G2 Offset Smoker made its debut, and since I've had a lot of fun cooking with it and have even done a few add-ons. Today we'll be doing some hot and fast chicken leg quarters on it and show you each mod and add-on. So if you have this smoker or are thinking about buying one, listen up because this one's going to be fun here on Aluna Secuing. Welcome back my good people. Just getting ready to uncover the G2 smoker so we can do a cook. And this is our first add-on that we'll mention. Old Country hasn't released a cover for the G2 yet, so I found this A coverette one on Amazon that fit perfectly. It has straps on the smokestack side, top and bottom, and there is also one on the firebox side so that your smoker is nice and snugly covered. Don't worry about remembering the name as I will have all the links to the items mentioned in this video in the video description below. Is a mad fire in there. We got it burning, uh, I think at 400. 400 there. And this side 450, oh man. Checking the temperature of the smoker brings us to the next add-on and these glowy temp gauges have been working great for the last six months. Their glow is very luminous at night and right now you can get a pair for under 25 bucks. Chicken's on the offset and we're putting uh, Los Pollos Hermanos. This stuff is delicious on chicken and I'll leave the link for it on the uh, video description. We are getting the cook rolling today. It's chicken leg quarters hot and fast. We'll be keeping the temperature as close to 400 degrees Fahrenheit as possible. We'll be rotating our chicken so that each piece gets a chance to be on the hotter side. Moving on to the next add-on is the addition of the one inch and a quarter ball valve and extension pipe. These two pieces are sold together. I'll show you how you screw on the extension. So if you add an elbow coupling to the end of your extension, you can hang a grease bucket on the curve of the elbow. This is a tip first mentioned by my buddy JD Barbecue and Bourbon on his channel. I actually got to try out the ball valve on this cook as the leg quarters were untrimmed and released a ton of water and grease. Luckily there was no leaks and the valve performed flawlessly. And that's our hot spot there. I should have installed the baffle and tuning plate for this cook, but I forgot. But still, I can work with it. Let me show you how much wood keeps us at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm running the smokestack damper completely open with the firebox door completely closed and the vent slide open. So back to our chicken, we flipped them over just once and now we flip them back to their bone site to finish them off. They've been in the smoker for about 15 minutes. We'll give them 15 more minutes and we'll take them off. Although this is insulated, it does get hot and more so this actually gets real hot when you're trying to open it and you got fire going on. So what we did is we actually modified it. So just to show you the mod, no problem holding it. You touch that, it's hot as hell. Show you the fire, beautiful. Hey guys, we're getting ready to end it. I'm gonna try one chicken before uh, on camera uh, before we uh, serve. Uh, and I'll bring you guys right close to the action. So I'm going to get a napkin because um, I know it's going to be super hot straight off the grill. Here we go. Uh, here it is. Perfect color. You can see it um, has that Pollos Hermanos seasoning. I don't know if I can withstand the heat right here. <laughs> Uh, let's see. If I can, I'll just let it go at midway, man. Let's give it a try. Ouch! Woo! Holy crap! Oh. Have you heard that? You know it's crispy. Delicious! Thanks for joining us, guys. Good food brings good people together, and that's why I always call you guys my good people. Thanks for joining me, guys and gals, on another cook. I will have all the links in the video description, including a section in my storefront that lists all the items I have added to my G2. Appreciate all the support. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe if you haven't already. Until next time, take care of yourself and each other. We'll see you on the next one.